ah, if this is your idea of stretching, then my favorite bartender workout is for you. Okay, there it is. That's my nice bike. I call that my road bike. Uh, it's pretty old already. Uh, that's the bike that, you know, I got those pedals for and the shoes that you clip on so that you're one with the bike. But here's my story. I haven't ridden this bike for probably at least a year, maybe a year and a half. And I was frankly wondering whether I still wanted to ride it or not because it's a different kind of posture. I don't like to ride this in the city too much because you have to constantly unclick. So this is the bike that I used to go out on 30, 40, 50, 60 mile rides with. And so last weekend I pumped up the tires, I put on my shoes, and I went out for just a couple of minutes to see if I really wanted to ride that bike again. See, because my shoes broke. So I wanted to see if it was worth it to buy another pair of shoes for this bike. And guess what? It is. I'm really happy I'm going to get some shoes and I'm going to go on the long bike rides again. This is The Lang Show. I'll be right back. Welcome to The Lang Show. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I talked about this, how, you know, sometimes we change our habits and, you know, the cycle of life, the circuit training of life, where maybe you're not so interested in doing an activity that you used to want to do more often. So it was encouraging for me to get on my road bike and think, wow, I really do want to do this. So I got to go get some shoes and then I'm going to go on a long ride sometime this week. Uh, welcome to the show. Today is day 170. Today's day 170 out of 365 days this year. So where are we at? Remember the ALS model, activity, leisure, true exercise, and then the synergy of putting it all together. What I wanted to do in this show today, um, update you on my uh, bar bet or movement bet or maybe sister bet of getting up off the floor without assistance. I've been working on that. I also wanted to do my favorite bartender workout intermittently during this show. Uh, to really demonstrate that you can be sitting around and then get up and do a set of squats or something. So that's why I am sitting here, let's say you're just hanging out, then you think, okay, my back's been bugging me lately, I really should do uh, a jerry. So jerry is the exercise where you asymmetrically load the spine to help with core stabilization. Here's an eight pound, eight pound medicine ball tuck it into my body, and do five squats. Switch hands. Excellent. Talk about something that I was talking with my clients about. And uh, it's regarding uh, activities that you want to do for the rest of your life or be better at or uh, just put in the context of what's valuable. One of my clients just turned 82 years old. And it's interesting, we were talking about, you know, he said, I can't get my ass off the floor anymore like I used to. I'm slow with everything. And so we talked a little bit about it. And I said, you know, Jerry, <laughs> I said, that's the irony of it all, right? In everyday life. You don't have to get down to the floor. You don't have to get up off the floor. I mean, chairs are higher. We're making toilet seats higher. We're making it easier for us to, to get up and down. But the crappy part is, no pun intended, uh, the thing is, if you do fall down or you trip or something or you have to get up off the floor, you, sh you, you want to be able to do that, right? You know, so that's why in the workout, I make them get down on the mat and, you know, I give them assistance from the stability ball or something to hold on to, but I want him to be able to do that as long as he can do that so that he's able to. So just again thinking about, you know, what do you want to be better at later on because you need to keep doing it now even though you don't necessarily need to or want to if you want to be able to be mobile later. So let's go do um, an Elijah exercise which is a focused movement and then uh, 
changing it into more of a power or plyometric movement. I'm going to alternate a set of rows with uh, wide squat jumps. That was 10 each rows with wide squat jumps, the Elijah exercise. Oh, oh by the way, this show is going to be in the future and in the past because my shirt's different because it's a few days later. Um, see, when I said my shoe was broken, it re was really broken, the whole bottom came off. So the other day when I went out for a few minutes to see if I liked it, I literally duct taped my shoe together and onto my foot so that I could ride for a couple of minutes. So anyway. I loved it, uh, and now it's a few days later, I just went on a probably like 35 mile bike ride out to Coney Island just to see how it felt. So uh, back to the Lang show, uh, now that I'm off of my bike, I wanted to do another uh, exercise from my favorite bartender workout, and it brings to mind the Mary exercise. The Mary exercise, uh, if you'll remember, is a warm up or a movement prep. But it's also a good choice for um, after a long bike ride because you know, you're in a leaned forward position. I try to keep the nice curve in my low back, so I'm not rounded. But you are definitely leaned forward and you're, you know, you're leaning on the bike. So as far as a um, sort of a recovery exercise, I'm going to take this band. And it's just a thin band with uh, handles. And I'm going to do some extension exercises. So I'm just going to pull apart nice and easy as I lean back, sort of extending my upper middle back, trying to keep my abs engaged. But this feels so good after a bike ride. I can also um, lie on a stability ball, basically anything to help open up or do self-massage with rollers, which you'll see eventually. So anyway, I wanted to continue with the update on the getting up off the floor without assistance and to show you my progress in that. So if you'll remember, the challenge was to sit on the floor, uh, we all did it cross-legged, and then be able to get up off the floor without assistance. So I'm getting better, but it's that initial movement of, of, of getting my weight forward and then getting up, which is still difficult. So. If I start with my legs crossed and go down, I can just about still a few inches off the floor, but I'm getting stronger in this range of motion. On the last show, I showed you how you can figure out, you know, do you have the mobility, do you have the strength, and so I'm working on the strength at that particular range of motion to be able to see my sister in a few weeks and say, yes, I can do that. I can get up off the floor without assistance, without using my hands. Let's do the X exercise to end the show. So in this show we did the Jerry, we did the Elijah, we did a version of the Mary, and now I'm going to do the X exercise. So remember the X exercise is named after the bartender who doesn't pay attention to you, so you're literally like starving for a beer walking across the floor. So I'm gonna do some some basic bird dog or extension. Uh, take the opposite arm and leg and go long. So I'm going to take my left arm and right leg and hold. And then I'm going to switch right arm, left leg. Make your leg as long as you can. Try not to move your hips at all. And then you can turn it into a crawling exercise. Moving forward, moving to the side moving in different directions. We'll do one more version. I'm going to extend my left arm and right leg, and I'm gonna do a little box, draw a little box with my arm and my leg, making my core muscles work harder to stabilize. So that's just a few favorite bartender exercises in the middle of your day, doing whatever else you do. Talked about getting back on the road bike, thinking about what you want to do when you're older and seeing if you can think about how you can keep doing that now so that you can, you can, you're able to do that in, a, in a, a few years from now. 
And uh, almost halfway through the year, where are we at with activity, leisure, true exercise, and the synergy of putting it all together? Uh, by the way, today's the first day of summer. I know I went back and forth from the past to the future in today's show, uh, but happy summer. See you soon. <laughs>